This here is a real life anime katana, like a Nitrine sword from Demon Slayer or Enma from One Piece. Don't believe me? Check this out. Where would you call professional? Huh? Hi, I see you are practicing some anime techniques. Yeah, yeah, just practicing my Zoro style. Well, speaking of anime, yep. I have here something very special. You know, in, in uh, anime, they have sometimes swords that are near indestructible, like like Enma from One Piece. Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. Okay. Very well, common trope. Common trope, actually. That but is it, it's not realistic. <laughs> it's not going to happen in real life. Well, well. This sword here mm. is rumored to have a type of steel that is 10 times stronger than one of its closest competitors. So a very common sword steel that we have reviewed, mm. like on many of our swords, T10. Yeah, we've used that a yep, bunch. This is said to be even stronger. This is called S5 Shock Steel. S5 Shock Steel. Okay. Now, Matthew Jensen, great sword reviewer, has reviewed a sword with this type of steel from the same manufacturer, Cloudhammer Steelworks. Right. And he said one of the toughest swords he's ever ever reviewed. Well, if we're going to review it, that means we have to really... We have to try and break it, basically. An to anime sword. And, uh, yeah, well, we'll, you messed it with me. We'll yeah. see, we'll see, because imagine if, like, there is a sword that has just super steel. Well, this that is would rumored. be a literal one piece, like uh, yeah, this would be sword. this would be like Edmund for one piece, or or there like there are so many animes and stuff that has... I'm going to right, you know, right. do some stuff, yeah. I'm very interested to see how much abuse this thing can survive. I mean, surely it can't handle like proper abuse. Matthew Jensen says it can. We'll find out. So let's go over a quick overview of the fit and finish and quality of this blade, uh, just on first appearances. First up, the actual sayer on this doesn't look too bad. It's actually one of the nicer sayers that I've seen. The wrap here is high quality and nice and tight. Then we come down to the actual handle. The brass fittings are kind of stock and standard. When it comes to the wrap, this one's actually a leather wrap, which I'm a bit more of a fan of, personally. Uh, it does seem to be real ray skin. I couldn't find anything on the website. It does seem to be a painted real ray skin. The blade is actually not bad at all. It's nice and light. I like the way it feels in the hand. It has a geometric grind up the top here, Ooh, which, nice. is, which is actually pretty good. Usually we get fake ones. This one's actually geometrically ground in there. Uh, the edge on it is pretty sharp. Uh, it's pretty sharp down here, very sharp down here. A bit dull up here. Not, not like I should be able to cut through everything, but not the same sort of sharpness. But let's get to some uh, cutting and see how it performs with some water bottles and pool noodles. The standard stuff, basically. That, I was very tippy, mm. which is what I wanted. And, and I think that sharpness played a factor there. Yeah, so it cut through the start and tore through the last two thirds. So let's try that again. So I'm gonna move down on the blade a little bit this time where it's a little bit more sharper and we'll see how it goes. So you had to put a lot of speed and power into that. That was much harder than I would ever wanna hit a bottle for the most part. It cut cleanly, but it didn't feel very nice. But that's enough for the water mm. bottles. Uh, let's just see how it goes on pool noodles. So that was a little different. I felt like I had to put a little more power and it cut mm. when it did, but it did feel a little teary. Well, something I should mention is this feels good in the hand when you're not hitting something. Like right now. And it looks good. It's a very beautiful blade. This actually feels quite nice for a katana. It's very nicely balanced. I like it. Uh, but when I hit things so far, I haven't enjoyed it. So let's just see how it goes with the pool noodles. Tippy. Try yeah, tippy. It's tippy on purpose. So, uh, it seems that this tip part here is just blunt at this point. Like, it's, it's very blunt. I'm able to run my fingers like this. Very, just go for it. But that was, that was very, oh, that's very quick. But I think we're at the point where we've shown that it can kind of cut for the most part. Not as, you, not as nice as a normal katana. 
But like anything, if you do your own sword maintenance, you may want to sharpen this yourself anyway. As we said, it feels really nice in the hand, maybe not so much in the cut. That could be just this particular one, not this particular make. Now we're going to actually get into the destruction portion. Mm. Basically, up until this point, normal review, <laughs> normal uh, rules apply. Now we're getting into, I want to see what this kit thing can handle. Yeah. Let's get to it. So, it's time for the actual destruction, the thing that you're all here for. Uh, we're going to be testing this steel, apparently it's really good, as we apparently. said before. And we will grab other safety equipment as needed, yes. but uh, right now we're just more worried about if something fractures a giant chunk off the blade, we need to know that it's not going to get us in the eye. So, to start with, we're just going to swing at each other in a simulated fashion of how we would swing a real sword at yep. each other, right? Uh, that's just to test uh, the edge and see how this blade goes. Three, two, one. Two, two one. one. Good, all right, I'm gonna go hard. Okay, three, three, two, one. I am... Impressed? Very impressed right now. Huh. This did not even chip, like it's chipped, kind of? But it's little chips. We've had swords like this before yeah, but like, that have taken chunks out when we've yes. done this. Like that is not a chip though. That's more of like a, a nick. It's taking off the top oh, layer. Oh, wow. However, when you look at this crappy sword that we've got here. Uh, <laughs> just so surprising. Yes, uh, the first round of tests uh, have been done. And yeah. I am genuinely surprised. However, there is a caveat here. The sword we were swinging it against is the softest steel. It's not even heat treated. It's yeah. just steel. It is just steel. But it's still steel. It's still swinging it against another sword. I'm going to be hitting these steel rings with a lot of force. Uh, a lot more force than when we were just doing that. So let's see how it survives this. I was not trying to pull my punches out. I was like, okay, let's try mm -hmm. and test this as much as safely possible. And it cut straight into it. Now this is galvanized steel. Mm. So it's nothing crazy, but at the same it's time- It's still steel. Steel. And it's about what, two millimeters thick, roughly about that. And you, as you can see here, these cuts, how deep we're able to get, it was just blowing through them. And the blade still has it micro chips, I'd call them. They're not chip chips. There's like tiniest little I chips. I would indeed. So we'll, we'll put some B-roll up, but yeah, this is, this is insane. This is this is actually very, very, very impressive. Well, uh, next up is the car door. I have no idea how it's going to go. I, I think it's going to be fine with the car door. But can you cut halfway? Can we actually cut through a car door with a katana? Now it's time to do the car door. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to basically do some thrusts, do some stabs, try and chop at it from different angles, just to see if we can even induce a little bit of damage on this blade. Let's get started. That is insane. That's I, I have never experienced a sword as strong as this so far. No, nor, nor have I. I've seen swords bend like that one bent today, but not tool steel. Tool steel doesn't bend like that and snap usually and, I'm, and I'm, snap back. I'm pretty sure we got it on slow-mo. There, there was a point where I was stabbing in and it was going through like butter all the way through the other side of the thing. Yeah. We took the tip off, that's yeah. how much. But then one of them- Might hit a bolt or something. Something it did not want to go through yeah. and this whole thing Whoop, I, I feel like I feel like it bent out to about here, somewhere was, roughly, roughly. It was crazy. Um, I felt it in my hands. Yeah. Now, if it's a spring steel sword, that's fine. That can bend out like that. But katanas aren't meant to bend like that, yeah. especially ones made out of tool steel. Now, when it comes to the suba, 
That's a rattle. That's loose. This is completely off. It's just being held on by the wrap. But uh, we're not finished. Something a bit stupid. Oh God. But I want to try it. I want to hit some rocks with this sword. Oh. I want to hit some bluestone. All right. This is a test that we have never done before for good reason, because it's not a test that needs to be done for a sword. You would never review a sword and do something this, stu do something this stupid. However, in this particular case, because I've been so impressed by the quality of this steel and the fact that it hasn't chipped or gouged at all yet, I want to push it to its limits. I want to see what happens when we hit it against bluestone. Now, I want to make this very clear. If this breaks or chips in the course of this test, this is not a knock on this blade. It's actually not, because this is a completely unreasonable test. Now, I want to be clear here. Don't try this at home. This is really, really dumb. I'm wearing a steel brigandine, so hopefully nothing will hurt me. I'm wearing eye protection as well. Holy Ah, my pants. We're good, Nathan. Have a look at that. I've taken up stonemasony. So we've got one more test for our anime one piece katana. And don't worry, it's not another destruction test. This one is simply to see how hard it is to sharpen it. Now the reason why is, well, first off, it's blunt, obviously, but more than that, when you get a blade that's this incredibly tough, it also means that it's probably gonna be really difficult to actually sharpen it. And I wanna put that to the test. I wanna see how long it takes me to use a whetstone and put an edge back on this blade, if I'm able to at all. So, it's been about two minutes of sharpening and I'm already able to get the, the actual blade kind of back to a cutting capacity. Now, down here where I was hitting the stone, I'm not trying to resharpen that because obviously I was hitting stone. It's got a little bit of a uneven surface on it, but I'm actually surprised that that wasn't too difficult to put an edge, a relative, a working edge back on it because I was expecting it to be far more difficult. But now, see down here was where I was hitting the stone, right? So even that is still, it's a little bit, uh, but up here was where I was trying to focus my efforts just then. And it's actually able to cut somewhat cleanly. Well, I think it's time we get to our final thoughts because uh, I got a lot of thoughts on this one. Let's head over to the bar, see what Shad's doing and uh, show him the sword. Holy crap. Yeah. This, this here is a real anime sword. I can't believe it. Well, like I seen the footage of yep. you guys abusing this. Yep. I can't believe that it's barely damaged. Yeah. So you were smashing it into bluestone. Yeah. It became a chisel. Uh, we first off we started a normal review. We did some pool noodles, water bottles, and it was mm -hmm. blunt, so it wasn't very good. Mm -hmm. But then we moved on straight to the sword, and we took gouges out of it. Now, now this isn't a proper sword. Like it's not like this is a what would you call it? A wall hanger? I More mean, of a wall hanger. It's, it's it's between a wall hanger and a proper sword. Yeah, somewhere there. It's still steel. It right? is steel. And it cut through it like butter. It's like it's like that's Play-Doh, and this is metal. Right? Yeah. Like, it just warped and gouged. Like that's crazy. Then we moved on to steel bands from the barrel, and it just straight through. Them. No I worries. I can't believe that. I like I've never seen a sword. Yeah. Do that. So this was from Cloud Hammer Steelworks, and it's made out of S5 shock steel. That's what they call it. And on the on the product page, it says that it's 10 to 12 times stronger than T10. And when we first started filming, I'm like, yeah, right. <laughs> and I, I was wrong. Most like a lot of the katanas that we get in mm. are T10 steel. Yes. And they say 10 to 12 times. I believe it. I, like like. The proof is in the pudding. The, the steel is like magic. Yeah. It, uh, <laughs> now, the only other thing with it is, so I was wondering how hard it would be to sharpen it. Because mm -hmm. the harder a sword is, 
well, the harder it is. Should which, be, should be. So putting an edge on it can be difficult. However, within like two minutes, I was able to put a working edge back on this it. Is, this is it's sharp again. And it's funny, like the handle was falling apart yes. before the blade. Yeah. And I mean, luckily about katanas, you can actually replace handles. Yeah, it's very easy. Quite yeah. easily. Cheap. So that isn't a big concern, but this is, I've never, I've never said this before, but I think it's a genuine anime sword in real life. Like, the, you, you see as a, tro as a trope in fantasy, like some blacksmith can make some mystical, incredible steel that is 10 times stronger than normal. Yeah. We're seeing that in real life. Yes. It's crazy. Now it's not Tamahagane though. No. And, and I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I want your guys' opinions in the comments. I don't think this is differentially hardened either. And the reason why, when I was doing the car door test, mm -hmm. it was smashing through yeah. like a tin can. However, at one point, it didn't go through for some reason. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, that blade took a massive bend, but it didn't take a set. Yeah, which, flex back. Yeah. And so that indicates a through hardened spring. Yeah. Now, I, they don't have anything on the product page, so I can't actually confirm or deny that. But from experience, that just seems mm. what it is. And we've reviewed a lot of swords, right? Mm. Katana, specifically. I've never seen a sword Never. Hold up like this. Never. And so, I'm, I'm excited, because remember when yesterday you said, I told you how good it was, and then I was going to do the bluestone test, you're like, don't break it. I'm worried, I was worried, like, real, like, you're smacking against stone? I was worried that this would not survive, because I've never seen a sword not get damaged from that. I was, I was scared too. But Look at this! I was genuinely surprised. This is, I can, now, we can only speak to the integrity of this particular sword we have here. Yes. Now we can't say that all of them are like this, but if they're all made out of the same steel, then logic would follow, right? I mean, and so Cloud Hammer Steelworks, yep. they sent us a couple of swords, mm -hmm. right? And the Nodachi, we had mixed views on, okay? Yep. And so we've been pretty fair about our feedback. But the blade was on it was... The blade was actually was quite fine. decent. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It was just the fittings and the price yeah. we had it concerns with. This, yeah, so this one costs 675 US, mm -hmm. which is a little bit higher than a usual katana we get. But because of the performance... I'm... yep. Mm -hmm. Yep, okay! Fair price! I'm sold. <laughs> <laughs> I want to smack this into bluestone just to show people. Are you ready? Look at what's going to happen to this sword. Let me... Yeah, I think Safety I'll be... Safety squints. Ready? Like... <laughs> Do you see? Separate to the bend, have a look at how much it has flattened this edge, just smashing that on the blue stone. It's basically destroyed it. And that's what you would ex more expect to see on a sword smashed up against stone. I would say, if I had to like give it a number score, I've never done that before, like a nine. Yeah, it is this up is there. This is crazy. Now I want to see this in a long sword. Oh, S, so it's S5 shock steel. Yeah. S5 shock steel long sword. Cloud Hammer Steel Works. I would kill for that. Yeah. Oh, now you would want to, like, that would actually take a bit of refinement because the qualities of the katana in terms of design, I think, mm. is complementing this because yeah. it has a generally thicker spine yep. and they're generally more stiff. Yep. I think that assists uh, and complements its strength and ability to hold together. Yes, but usually where katanas stumble a bit is on mm. their edge because it's so thin, yes. the edge geometry cracks and mm -hmm. it's a bit brittle, especially when they have differential hardenings. Yeah. With this, though, I, like, it doesn't seem possible to have such a thin edge resist that much. That seems it's crazy. You can tell we're... <laughs> we're, we're shocked. We're, we're in shock. Uh, if this is like magic anime steel. Yes, this is a literal anime sword in real life. <laughs> Who would have thought? <gasps> well, there we go. My gosh. You should check out some of our other reviews, right, where swords sometimes hold up well or not as well. Or specifically, another sword from Cloud Hammer Steelworks, because it does give you a bit of comparison of different steel qualities and everything. We review a giant anime katana, a Nodachi, yeah. from Cloud Hammer, and uh, different results, but a really fun review, really interesting sword. It's right there. You can click on it. Okay. Hope to see you there. A real anime sword, guys. <laughs> it's crazy.